slowly So we already in too deep Can't get no sleep on each other to my channel in today's video i thought i would do a q a type video because i have some new subscribers on my channel and i wanted you guys to get to know me better but before we start this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so that anytime i upload videos onto my channel you'll get notified right away you'll get the notification on your phone so you don't have to search me up because it'll just be right there waiting for you on your phone in your notifications it's and just VIV treatment up here going forward just VIV treatment and make sure you like this video when you like this video it tells YouTube that this is a good video so it pushes my videos out there so that it can go viral my channel can be you know noticed by a lot of people with that being said let's get started with this video. so i'm excited to do a q a because i haven't done one in a very long time i want you guys to know me on a better level so let's get started the first question is have you ever met someone famous so i have and i've met multiple people so i met kelly Rowland, beautiful person had the greatest experience when I first saw her. I'm like, hey Kelly, can I take a picture? She's like, yeah, 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 come, 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 come. Cause I just have to go on stage, just come quick, quick. So I'm following behind her and then like, I, my friend at the time um, was calling me. So I was attending to her and then she's like, oh my gosh, come, 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 follow me, follow me. Like she is so, so beautiful, very nice person. I had a great experience with her. Then I met Dasha Polanco. Dasha Polanco is beautiful, gorgeous. She's a Dominican and like I, beautiful person as well. I wanted to take a picture with her, but because she had to go on stage, she was not able to. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I would have taken the picture, but they, I can't leave. I have to go. Um, that's okay. Next time. So yeah, she's very nice as well. I met John Legend. When John Legend passed me, guys, oh my God, I thought I was like, I thought I was in like a next world. I thought like I died and I went to heaven and I saw John Legend. That's how I felt when basically I met John Legend. I love John Legend, I love his music. Like he's a really nice guy. This was backstage. I was in Jamaica. Went with a friend. We had um, VIP uh, tickets because of what we were there for and in Jamaica for Jazz and Blues. This was in 2013. Met John Legend. He was engaged to Chrissy Teigen at that time. He had no kids. I never thought that I had an opportunity for a person like John Legend to pass me, brush me, and also say hi. Yo, I was like, <laughs> I don't even think my mind was there 100% when it all happened. And he said, hey, how are you? I'm like, oh my God, John Legend is talking to me? No, he's not talking to me. He's talking to me? And yeah, I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> it was such a humbling experience. It was so good. He's so nice too. And then Dion Warwick. When I saw, it was the same time as John Legend. And when I saw her and I was talking to her, I'm like, hey, I just want to let you know that you're my famous grandmother. So yeah, don't forget me. <laughs> I was telling her that and like, she's so sweet. She was laughing and her son was there as well. If you don't know who Dionne Warwick is, I believe she's related to Whitney Houston. I just don't know the relationship, if it was cousins or aunt or whatever. I'm not 100% sure, but she is sweet like candy. I also met Mary J. Blige. I met Monica, um, and this was for Jazz and Blues. Monica didn't do such a hot job at Jazz and Blues. Her performance was, it was okay, but Mary J. killed it, you know, and she's OG, and she's so nice and humbling, and you know, all these celebrities that I've met, they are more humble than regular people shade or no shade 
Um, I did see Kim Kardashian and Kanye West when she was here for her jewelry collection. I was downtown Toronto because I was going to school downtown. This is when I was doing my undergrad. And yeah, she is very sweet and she's very shy, like super shy. Like if you have a conversation with her, it's not that she's being off-putting or short-spoken. She's just naturally a super shy person. So if you ever meet her and then you talk to her, don't feel any type of way. It's just, she's very shy. Just like me, you'll see me in person and like you talk to me, I'm super shy. Like I'm a very shy person to myself. And then some people are like, wait, are you just being standoffish? No, I'm not being standoffish. I'm actually, I'm shy. <laughs> but yeah, and then for Caribbean, West Indian uh, celebrities, if you want to call them that, I met Lady Saw, Lady Sasha broke out and thing there, but at that time she converted to Christianity, so she didn't broke out too much. She was just there, you know, to enjoy the vibe. But um, she's very nice and <laughs> took a picture with her as well as the Queen of Dance Hall. Uh, she looked very good that day, and yeah, I met Chronix and Romaine Virgo, and this is when those two were popping off. This is when they were starting their career. And Chronix, he was a little bit standoffish. He was like, yeah, come take the picture with me now. Mm -hmm. Come, come take the picture now. And then Romaine Virgo was like, hey, yes, come, come, let's take a picture, rising star. This is rising star hunting. So, yeah. The Jamaican ones were, were good too. <laughs> Next question. Would you like to be famous? So I've always dreamt of being famous. I used to sing before. I used to sing at church. Um, and I used to sing on the choir. I used to sing solo. And I've always wanted the opportunity to be famous, to have a huge following to show people my talent like that was like a dream of mine when i was younger because i know i could sing right now my voice is a little bit iffy because i haven't sung in a very long time but when i was younger i used i could sing and i always my family members would always tell me like hey you know you're gonna make it big if you get into like r&b and stuff like that and soul you know, you can do a lot of things. You'll have people flocking you like crazy because you have such a great talent. So at that time, I, yes, of course, I wanted to be famous. Now, I like doing YouTube just to show people like my talent. And then I also like doing fitness videos. So I like to spread the word on healthy lifestyle. But I wouldn't say that now... I want to be famous I would say I just want people to see me for who I am and my talent and my expertise on this channel and then we'll see where it goes if you can change one thing that happened what would it be um one thing that I could probably change is not sure I don't know how to answer this question nothing's really happened to me that I would need to change anything that's happened to me in my life um, this is gonna sound a little bit corny and stupid but if I need to change one thing would be my car because my car right now is on life support and that's it I have other plans for investment so I don't really want to buy a car right at this specific moment because I know I'm gonna be making an investment soon. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you could live anywhere, where would that be? So I would live in New York, straight up. Grew up there. I spent a lot of my childhood in New York City So because my grandmother raised me. Um, so if I had to live anywhere, it would be New York because I know New York and if it had to be in like the West Indies, it'd be Jamaica because I know Jamaica. I've been to Jamaica like a million times. So if that's like 
another place that I want to live would be, you know, New York and Jamaica because those are places that I know very well. Have you ever been in the snow? I live in Canada. I live in Ontario. I live in Toronto. So it is snow central here. Actually, we don't get snow as bad as we did before. In the winter time in like February, that's when usually, you know, snow is popping off. We don't get that much snow. So, but I do live with snow in this winter time. I was about to say summer, winter time. Do you still have your childhood teddy bear? No, I don't. I don't own any teddy bears whatsoever. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do you have? I have 35 pairs of shoes. I counted today because I knew I was doing this challenge or this Q and A. So I counted all of my shoes. I have 35 and my sneakers. I don't have a lot. I think I have like four pairs of sneakers. So I'm into, you know, the pumps, you know, the sandals, stuff like that. The heeled sandals. Favorite holiday, beach, mountain, or city? Beach. I'm a West Indian. I am a West Indian. My mom is Jamaican. My dad's Dominican. We're West Indianers here. So I grew up on vacationing in a warm environment. So it's going to be warm environment. It's going to be Jamaica or it would be anywhere else in the west indies my second favorite place to vacation is barbados so if i had to go anywhere else it would be barbados other than jamaica do you like tv talent shows um before like a couple years ago i used to when i was younger i used to love watching um america's got talent american idol what was the other one that um, uh, Melanie Amaro was on? Oh my God, I can't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. Jeez, I can't remember. Um, fear, fear, it's not fear factor. It's like, I can't remember what it's called. I'm gonna put it somewhere here so that you guys can check it out. But yeah, I used to, at one point, used to be into, you know, talent shows because I had a talent. So I would listen to other people's singing techniques so that I can apply it to my singing. What's your opinion on reality TV shows? Okay, so I watch them a lot. I watch um, Real Housewives of Atlanta and I used to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. They're done now. Um, I believe it's scripted and I also believe that there's real parts to it. So scripted and real. I would say it's more so scripted than it is real. You'll get the real aspects of it, but for sure, it's scripted. Do you like scary movies? I love scary movies because it just gives you, you know, that opportunity to beat out your, you know, your fears in life. You know, when you watch a, when you watch scary movies, you, you can overcome, you know, scary obstacles. So I love watching them. They just motivate me in life <laughs> they really do I'm just joking scary movies yes I do enjoy watching them to a certain degree when it's a little bit too gory and stuff like that then no I don't enjoy that have you ever fired a real gun no I don't even like to hear the G word trust me because people are injured they lose their life I don't even like cooking with a knife okay if I could use the side of my hand to cut my meat I would I don't even like using a knife so imagine me holding a gun and going to a gun range <sighs> that I would probably pass out I would have anxiety I wouldn't be able to do it I would be bawling my eyes out because I wouldn't be able to manage no it's a it's a fear definitely a huge fear last film you watch okay i don't really watch movies i'm gonna tell you guys i don't really watch movies so if i do watch a movie it's a once in a blue moon type of thing um but yeah i haven't watched anything recently so and if i did it was probably months ago like i'm on hey you like 24 hours seven days a week so <laughs> and hey you is all reality tv so 
that will tell you a lot I don't even have Netflix so just putting it out there do you like roller coasters I do not like roller coasters I went to Wonderland this is like five years ago or something like that and I went with my dad and we went on this like baby roller coaster and my dad and I we were having anxiety while we were on the actual roller coaster like my dad is there screaming oh no We're both having anxiety on the roller coaster. And then my dad is not the type of person to cry. My dad was bawling out his eyes on that roller coaster. He, it was too much for him. He said he wouldn't do that ever again. I said, right, you probably will. I guarantee you probably will. And the last question. Have you ever cried at a film? Yes, I have. I have cried I think it was loving love and basketball that movie every time it makes me cry it's such a beautiful movie and yeah that one if you want to see me cry nothing is too hard to make me cry i'm gonna be honest but if you really want to see me love and basketball i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun answering these questions and you guys getting to know more about me I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.